Hey guys, Terry here. I wanted to show you what came in my July Sewers Club uh, monthly subscription. It's always a pleasant surprise to see what they send us. And here in July, they have sent a raw edge patchwork purse. That is really cool. So if you're not familiar with this raw edge, this is a little example here. This was some fabric from my mother-in-law's craft room. Um, she recently passed away, so we're going through everything and finding a home for her stuff. But this um, is what you do to sew. You um, take your um, piece of fabric and you sew it to the quilt and you kind of doing it as you go. So this is sewn on there and then you trim the different pieces and then when you wash it that becomes this edge that looks like it's uh, well worn so it's just a nice texture and uh, and fun colors there so how cute is that so this is um, it's got this little example here it says the finish size is 10 inches by 16 inches and um, it's got the instructions they do a really good job of sending you um, everything that you need to know and then they also have a video on their website I'm covering up the password uh, that's just for subscribers so that's what it looks like and then I think that everybody got a little bit different fabric I got this bundle here and this is from um, the company is Kimberbell and I see this fabric at all the quilt stores these days so this must be a popular company um, but let me show you the fabric. It's so pretty. I think it's going to be such a fun project to make. But it's got uh, different black fabric. And then it has navy. So pretty. And the greens. And I just love the polka dots. So cute. And it's got some white and some grays. And then onto the reds. So just really pretty. This comes with uh, 42 charm packs. Um, or the pack, I should say, is made up of 42 charm squares. And then they included thread. It's so cute that they give you the thread to go with your project. And then this looks like it's for the handles, but this is a pretty red. And then they give you all the um, cotton batting. So such a cute kit this month. I love it. So, um, I think this is my sixth month that I've received, and I have yet to make anything. I have been um, working on clearing out my mother-in-law's um, room. This is a lot of the stuff that we brought over. Uh, she willed me the sewing machine, so I'm trying to learn how to... Um, Kind of process that it's hard to enjoy it knowing that I've got it now that she's gone um, it deeply saddens me um, but I'm I know she meant for me to enjoy it after she was gone she used it for many years um, I think I'm gonna take a class to learn how to use it along with watching some YouTube videos but what you see under the table there is 22 boxes that are filled to the brim with um, fabric so those were the large pieces of fabric. Um, there's a little bit of scraps in it, but it's mostly large fabric. So what I'm going to do for each box is uh, open it up, take a picture of the fabric that's there, and then probably either list it on Facebook Marketplace or um, even eBay. So um, that's the next piece. I've sorted it all. I've put like fabric together and, um, and uh, think that people will enjoy getting those boxes. So those are the big boxes and then over here I have um, her charm her not charm packs but fat quarters fat quarter squares so I want to um, either do them by color or do them by what looks good and then I'm going to put those in the small mailing boxes and then she has some quilts that were started so I'm going to finish those um, she's got a few baby quilts to make too for the great grandkids. Uh, one baby's on its way in another week, a little girl coming. So um, I'll be making those. 
and yeah I just want to um, continue on what she was doing with all her fabric and get it into the hands of people that could um, you know use it to uh, to make something fun because that's what the fabrics intended for so I will be doing that and um, so I'll when I get it posted on eBay I'll have links on my website which is rednup.com um, but to in order to set this table up I moved out my um, black IKEA shelving I moved it over here to one of the walls my husband keeps saying uh, your craft room is encroaching on the bedroom because this is the top floor of our cabin and it is the master bedroom but um, there's the view there the craft room is over there in that little wing but as you know we quickly outgrow whatever space we have <laughs> so this weekend was exhausting I rearranged um, the last two weeks I've been working on that fabric sorting through it and deciding what to what to pack together um, so I've still got a little bit more rearranging to do but I do like the shelves over here on this wall um, there's always stuff to do in our craft room isn't there so um, I lean I need to uh, next to take photos of the fabric and then list them so that part should go quicker so thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please put please click the subscribe button and that'll help me with my YouTube stats I appreciate that and I hope you guys have a great day thanks guys